we had a, a little bit of a tussle last year over uh, school legislation and, and Disney came out uh, against something that was really just about protecting young kids and making sure that students are able to go to school learning to read, write, add, and subtract and not having a teacher tell them that they can change their gender. And I think most parents agree with that. Uh, but you know, that was only a mild annoyance. I think that what we came to realize after that dust settled on that uh, was you clearly had a movement within the corporation itself, of course, Burbank, California-based elements of it that said it's their job or it's their goal to inject a lot of this sexuality into the programming for young kids. And I'm a dad, six, four, and two, and my wife and I, and I know parents throughout Florida, uh, we want our kids to be kids. We want them to be able to enjoy entertainment, school, uh, without having an agenda imposed upon them. And so if you're going that way as a corporation, uh, those are not the values that we want to promote in the state of Florida. Uh, we want to promote uh, the safety of our students and uh, the rights of our parents. So we had this situation here that was basically indefensible from a policy perspective. How do you give one theme park its own government and then treat all the other theme parks differently? And so we believe that um, that, that was not good policy. We believe being joined at the hip with this one California-based company was not something that was justifiable or sustainable. And so we said we we're gonna do something about it. And so now we're basically, Disney's gonna be treated like SeaWorld is treated or like any of these others. And that's really uh, the, the, the fair thing to do. So I'll be signing the bill momentarily and that will officially end the self-governing status uh, here in Central Florida for Disney.